Ever wondered what makes a man attractive? Well, part of the answer lies in the way he carries himself. It's not always about the designer suit or the latest pair of sneakers, often it's the subtle art of body language and the way a man poses that can play a significant role in attraction. Whether you're at a social gathering or just strolling down the street, the way you position yourself can send powerful signals to those around you. Today we're going to delve into this fascinating world and provide you with some top-notch tips on the best poses for men to appear more attractive. From the confident stance to the engaged listener, each pose has its unique charm and can drastically enhance your appeal. It's all about finding the right balance between confidence and comfort, and we're here to help you strike that perfect balance. So, ready to unlock the secrets of attraction? Let's dive in. First up, we have the confident stance. It's a fundamental yet incredibly effective pose that can significantly impact how you're perceived. So, what is it all about? Picture a person standing tall and straight, with their shoulders pulled back, and their head held high. This is more than just good posture, it's a physical manifestation of self-assuredness, a silent declaration of your presence. It's a stance that exudes confidence, and quite frankly, it's a magnet for attention. Let's delve a little deeper into why this is so important. When you stand tall, you're essentially maximizing your presence, taking up the space you're entitled to. You're not shrinking away or trying to make yourself appear smaller. You're standing your ground, asserting your place in the world. Pulling your shoulders back and lifting your head high allows you to engage with your surroundings and the people in it. It shows you're open, approachable, and ready to engage. It's a nonverbal way of saying, I'm here, I'm confident, and I'm ready to take on whatever comes my way. Now you might think, that's easy, I can stand tall and pull my shoulders back. But here's the catch, it's not just about standing tall, it's about doing it naturally. It's about being comfortable in your own skin and owning your space without appearing stiff or forced. Think of it this way. Imagine you're wearing a suit made of the finest fabric. You don't want to be constantly tugging at the material, adjusting the cuffs or fidgeting with the buttons. You want to wear it with ease, let it complement your form and allow it to enhance your natural charm. The same principle applies to the confident stance. It's not a rigid pose you need to maintain at all costs. It's a relaxed yet assertive way of standing that reflects your self-assuredness. So, let's get practicing. Standing tall, shoulders back, head high, but remember, keep it natural. You're not a stiff statue, but a dynamic, confident individual ready to engage with the world. Remember, confidence is key, and with the right stance you can command any room. Next, let's shift gears to the relaxed lean. Now you might be wondering what's so special about a lean. Well let me tell you, it's not just any lean, it's the relaxed lean. This pose has the power to speak volumes about your character. It subtly communicates a laid-back cool vibe that can be incredibly appealing. Picture this. You're at a social gathering, you spot a wall or a bar, and you casually lean against it. This simple act can make a world of difference. It shows you're comfortable in your own skin. You're not trying too hard, you're just... Well, you. And that authenticity is attractive. Leaning against a wall or a bar gives off an approachable aura. It's like you're saying, hey I'm here, I'm relaxed, and I'm open to conversation. This easygoing demeanor can draw people in. We're naturally attracted to those who seem approachable and relaxed. But here's the kicker. You can't appear too relaxed. That's right, there's a fine line between a relaxed lean and a slouch. Slouching can make you seem disinterested or lazy, which isn't exactly a magnet for attraction. So, it's crucial to maintain a good posture even when you're leaning. Keep your back straight, your shoulders back, and your head held high. It's all about balance. Relaxed, yet engaged. Moreover, the relaxed lean isn't just for standing situations. You can incorporate it while sitting too. Lean back in your chair, rest one arm on the table or armrest, and let your other arm rest naturally. This pose communicates that you're comfortable, yet attentive. So, keep this in mind. The relaxed lean is a versatile pose. It's a perfect blend of coolness and approachability. It shows you're at ease, yet still engaged in the environment around you. In conclusion, the relaxed lean is more than just a pose, it's a statement. It says, I'm comfortable, I'm approachable, I'm authentic. So whether you're at a party or a casual gathering, remember, the relaxed lean is your friend. Make it part of your body language repertoire and who knows, you might just become the most attractive man in the room. Now let's talk about the engaged listener. Imagine being in the middle of a conversation where you're genuinely intrigued. You're not just there, physically present, but also mentally absorbed, hanging on to every word. 
That's the essence of being an engaged listener. It's not just about hearing, but understanding, empathizing and responding. But how do you convey this through your body language? Well, the secret is in your eyes and your nods. Maintaining eye contact is an age-old technique that signals your undivided attention. It's like saying, I'm here, I'm listening, and I'm interested in what you're saying. It's a powerful tool that can make anyone feel seen and heard, but it's not just about the eyes. Nodding lightly while someone is speaking is another subtle yet effective way to show your interest. It's a universal sign of understanding, an unspoken agreement that says, I'm following along, I get what you're saying. Together, eye contact and nodding can transform you into an engaged listener, someone who doesn't just hear, but listens. And this isn't just about being polite or courteous, it's about creating a connection, a bond that makes the other person feel valued and important. You see, when you show someone that their words matter to you, that their thoughts and feelings are worth your time, you're not just being a good listener, you're being a good human. You're being someone who understands and respects the power of conversation, the magic of human connection. And guess what? People notice that, they appreciate it, they're attracted to it, because who doesn't want to feel heard, to feel understood, to feel valued? So the next time you're in a conversation, remember to listen actively. It's more attractive than you might think. Last but not least, let's discuss the powerful seated position. Now this is a pose that often gets overlooked. But trust me, when done right, it can convey a powerful message about your confidence and dominance. The key element of the powerful seated position is the way you position your legs. Sitting with your legs wide apart can communicate a sense of dominance. It's like you're saying, I am comfortable in my own skin and I'm not afraid to take up space. This is a primal way of asserting yourself and it can be quite effective. But here's where it gets tricky. There's a fine line between looking confident and looking arrogant. While spreading your legs wide might give off an air of dominance, overdoing it can easily tip the scales towards arrogance. And trust me, nobody likes a show-off. So how do you strike the right balance? Well, it's all about being mindful of your surroundings and the people around you. If you're in a formal setting or in the company of people you're trying to impress, you might want to dial it down a notch. You can still sit wide, but not so wide that you're encroaching on others' space. On the other hand, if you're in a casual setting or among friends, feel free to stretch out a bit more. Just remember, the goal is to convey confidence, not to make others uncomfortable. Another important aspect of the powerful seated position is your posture. Sitting up straight, with your shoulders back and your chest out, can further enhance your aura of confidence. It shows that you're engaged and ready to take on whatever comes your way. Remember, body language is a powerful tool. It can speak volumes about your personality and your state of mind. So, when you're seated remember to command space but do it with grace and respect. Your body language should be an extension of your personality, not a caricature. So sit back spread out but always remember to keep it classy. And there you have it. The best poses to make you more attractive. Let's take a quick recap. We started with the confident stance, a pose that exudes self-assuredness and charisma. This is the pose that says, I'm comfortable in my own skin and I'm not afraid to show it. Then we moved on to the relaxed lean, a pose that radiates an easygoing vibe and shows that you're approachable. It's the perfect balance between cool and collected. Next, we talked about the engaged listener, a pose that shows you're genuinely interested in what others have to say. It's all about showing empathy and understanding. And finally, we rounded up with the powerful seated position, a pose that commands respect and authority. It's about owning your space and asserting your presence. Remember, it's not just about the pose, it's about how you carry it. So, stand tall, lean back, listen actively, and command your space. Here's to being the best version of you.